Hey everyone, Lisa here from Happy Sazzling. Um, today I got a question under one of my videos, and I actually get this question a lot, asking if you can change a product once you've um, published it already on Zazzle. So if you've made something, you click sell it, make a couple sales, and then all of a sudden you notice that, oh shoot, I made a typo, or maybe you forgot to make it a template. Um, can you go back and fix it? without having to totally re-publish it on Zazzle. So for the quick answer for this is most people don't, sadly. Um, but soon that may change. Um, for now, you can change the title, description, and product view by clicking on Edit Details under or on top of your product. Um, but you can't change the design elements themselves. What am I, I mean by that is like, let me go to a product here. So you can go here to edit details. And you can change the title, the marketplace, the description here. You know, you can add whatever you want. Or you can go into product merchandising and change the options here so that you can, you know, see different views of your product or whatever. And, and you can change tags and categories. So there's a couple things you can change. Most, mostly it's just like in the wording of your product. And then you just click I have the right to publish and done. And that will change like your title or description. But as far as design elements, you can't, you can't change that. Most people can't. Right now Zazzle has introduced a new tool to some Zazzle sellers. Not to everybody. It's called the replace a tool. Why some people and not others, I'm not really sure, but I can only guess that it's because they need to do some beta testing, make sure it works for people before they roll out a tool that is going to cause a lot of grief before they know the ins and outs of it. So sometimes like when there's a new feature or tool introduced on Zazzle, um, they let some of the Zazzle sellers play around with it so they can, you know, tweak it and make sure it's working properly before letting everybody use it. So far, what we know about the Replace It tool is you can't edit products that have already sold. Or that's what some people have reported back. Like if you have many sales on a product, it's not going to let you replace it. The Replace It button might be there, but Zazzle might reject your, your um, change. Um, we also know that Zazzle has to approve the edits. It takes a couple of days for Zazzle to approve it before changes are made to your product. When you go to edit an already existing and published product, next to the sell it button will be the replace it button um, once you have made the edit. I'll show you that in a second. And we also know that nobody knows for sure if and when this tool will roll out for everyone. To see if you have the ability to replace it, Go to one of your published products, make a change to it, and once you've made a change, you can click Done, and then you'll see if the Replace It button is there, and I'll show you again. So here I got this wrapping paper, right? So I'm going to go to Edit Tool, or Edit Design, I mean, and I'm just going to make a change here. Obviously, this isn't something I really want to do. I'm just trying to show you guys. So I added some text. So now I'm going to click on Done, and see right here where it says Sell It? Instead, I'm going to click on Replace Product. Mm -hmm. So once you click on Replace Product, it'll take Zazzle a couple days to let you know if they've updated your product or not. So anyway, that's what I know about the Replace It tool for now. Um, as I learn more changes and stuff, I'll add it to this blog post. I'll put the link to it below. So anyway, that's it for today. I hope that soon everybody has to replace a tool because I know a lot of times I forget to make something a template or, you know, I'll notice a typo. I don't think this is going to help if you have products that have sold a lot and you want to change it, which sucks because when you have to re totally redo a product, then it messes up your stats and everything. So if like what happened to me is I had this one um, card, it was during COVID, and it had somebody with a mask on trying to blow out candles, you know, and it just said, happy birthday, blah, blah, blah. But after selling many of them, 
somebody wrote to me and they said, you have a typo inside the card. And I was like, oh, shoot. And I looked and the, the text was text that was supposed to be personalized by people anyway. I think that's why I sold a lot of them without anybody noticing. But still, I didn't want to have something in my store with a typo. So I had to change it and resell it. And then I never sold another one again. So by re, you know redoing it, you lose your place in the Zazzle al algorithm or however you want to say it. Like you lose your stats. So anyway, that's it for the day. Happy Zazzling to you guys. Hope all your sales are picking up. I know it's been a rough year. Let me know how you're doing down below in the comments.